Are you wondering what topics are coming this year in the biology and human and social biology exams? Well, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my June 2021 exam predictions for both CSET biology and human and social biology. So if you're interested in finding out what I think would come, keep watching. Okay, so first let me take a look at my predictions for last year, May, June 2020. Obviously, last year there was no biology paper too, so we only have the predictions for May 2020, human and social biology. So this, yeah, these are the topics that I thought would have come last year. And out of these topics, cell division came, genetic cross came, and a question on cardiovascular diseases came. Now, I thought it would be interesting to actually look at the actual topics that came. So, let's take a look at the actual July 2020 paper, the questions that would have come. So, the first question was on atherosclerosis diagram. They had hypertension, balanced diet, and a graph on diseases. So remember the first question on the paper is usually going to have some kind of chart, a graph, table, something to interpret. So just keep that in mind. The second question was on characteristics of living organisms. So you had to compare also the animal and plant cells. There was an investigation on photosynthesis, so that pond weed experiment. The third question was about the endocrine gland, so there was actually a diagram highlighting the endocrine glands which you had to label and you had to compare the endocrine system with the nervous system and then there was a table of blood tests dealing with thyroid problems. So that was question three. Then question four was on cell division. They had a genetic cross to do, specifically about a hitchhiker's, the characteristic hitchhiker's thumb. Then there was a histogram, so another graph, particularly on variation. So that was question four. Then question five, there was topics on excretion, homeostasis, diabetes, so the signs of diabetes, and then osmoregulation. And then the last question dealt with pollution, air pollutants. Um, they had a pie chart. And then they dealt with the dangers of plastic, using plastics on the ecosystem. So that covered the July 2020 paper for human and social biology. All right, let's take a look now at the topics that would have come on the January 2021 papers. So for both human and social biology and biology. So you get an idea of the questions that would have come. All right, so let's start first with the human and social biology paper. So the January 2021 paper. So the first question was on breathing and respiration. They had a diagram of the alveolus. They had a question on the ATP cycle. And there was a graph dealing with um, oxygen depth and exercise. So that was the first question. The second question dealt with the lymphatic system. So you had to talk also about the function of the spleen. There was information on the capillary bed and how tissue fluid and lymph forms. And then there was a question on immunity, particularly dealing with coronavirus. And then to finish off that question, um, they asked about antibiotics, taking antibiotics, and then vaccines. So that was question two. For question three, there was a, um, they dealt with the cell differentiation. They had diagrams of muscle cells and epithelial cells, so you had to identify them. Um, we also dealt with stru cell structures, um, the motor neuron, particularly how the loss of the myelin sheath would affect the transmission of nervous impulses. And then finally, finishing off that question, it dealt with the characteristics of living organisms. All right, so for question four, it was all about A's and STDs. They dealt then with the birth defects, and there was a table on birth control. So that was question four. So question five now would have dealt with the balanced diet. 
looking at food groups, the benefits of fiber, and then it went on to look at genetic engineering in producing um, vitamin A. So it also included um, the advantages of genetic engineering and then how to improve food production. So it kind of linked up nutrition and genetics in that particular question. So the last question was on water purification in the home, testing water for bacteria and how water can get contaminated. And then they looked at the, they wanted you to discuss the breakdown of the wastewater, of a wastewater facility and the health problems that will be associated with that. And then finally finishing off that question with sewage treatment methods. So that was the January 2021 Human and Social Biology paper. So let's move on now to look at the biology, the January 2021 biology paper. So the first question was a popular question, enzymes and the graph showing the effect of pH on amylase. So that is a common first question on paper two in, in uh, the biology exams. Then it went on to look at um, describing an experiment related to the whole enzymes and the effect of the pH. And then you, they looked at the mechanical digestion specifically and vitamins and minerals. They had a table on deficiency diseases. And then they looked at the functions of white blood cells and platelets. So that was the question one. Then question two was all about plants and photosynthesis. So there was actually a cross-section diagram of the dicotyledonous leaf. So obviously you had to label the different layers of cells. Then they went on to look at adaptations for photosynthesis. And then there was a graph showing the rate of photosynthesis um, and how that was affected by the amount of carbon dioxide. So that was question two. Then question three dealt with cells again. So plant and animal cells. So similarities, differences. And then it went on to look at cell transport, particularly the definitions for diffusion and osmosis and active transport. And then it was an actual investigation on the rate of diffusion using um, ammonium hydroxide solution and then finishing off that question the importance of diffusion in in mammals so basically cells and cell transport so then for question four we dealt with looking at the steps in the process of mitosis the pros and cons of animal cloning and then other ways that mitosis would be important so for question five there was a symbiotic relationships table. So showing you examples and you had to identify the type of symbiotic relationship. Then there was um, part of the question dealing with the spread of bird flu on livestock and vegetables. And then finishing off that, the reasons for locomotion. So you have a combination of a section A and a section B um, question kind of mixed in there. Because locomotion, that will be movement symbiotic relationships as living organisms in the environment. So then the final question was all about the heart. So there was a diagram of the heart. You had to name the three heart valves, name three heart valves and label them on the diagram. And then finishing off that, you had to compare the cause of diabetes and hypertension and then dealt with managing these diseases. So that was January 2021 paper for biology. Okay, so let's move on to the actual predictions I have for June, July 2021 exams. And just a disclaimer, I do not know exactly what is going to be coming. These are just my, my thoughts, my personal feelings after observing certain trends and questions over the years. So please, please, please make sure you study the entire syllabus and properly prepare for the exams. Okay, let's start with the human and social biology predictions. So I believe that we're gonna have a question on enzymes, showing a graph, um, either dealing with temperature, the effect of temperature or pH. 
Um, possibly there may be a tooth diagram and looking at the teeth, tooth decay, tooth care, that kind of thing. And possibly a question on food tests. So I think that that could possibly come. Secondly, I'm thinking the skeletal system. This has been quite a popular question over the years and I didn't see it obviously in the January paper and it did not come last year July. So there's a possibility that this topic can come this this June. So dealing with the bones, cartilage, ligaments, tendons, joints. I know they usually tend to bring a lot of questions on the muscle action but I'm thinking that maybe this time around they may exclude that the muscle action you know antagonistic muscles in the arm biceps triceps and I think they may focus more so on the bones and then the other associated um, tissues so like the cartilage ligaments etc so that is what I think would come related to the skeletal system and then the nervous system so something on the brain neurons where there's the structure of the neurons um, the nerves reflex pathways so anything related to that and then the the eye possibly because I know the eye definitely is a popular topic that tends to, to come regularly so nervous system I I think that that can come and then reproduction so this might be either reproduction related to the reproductive systems in male or females and the menstrual cycle I haven't seen a question on the menstrual cycle in a while so there's a possibility that it can bring something on the menstrual cycle so maybe a, a diagram the graph showing you the menstrual cycle and then how to you should know to interpret the different changes throughout the, the actual menstrual cycle period and then possibly birth process I haven't seen that come in a while birth process the different stages of the birth process um, birth control and family planning so something related to the whole topic of reproduction and then asthma smoking malaria and dengue so we're going on to like the whole diseases topics so they're definitely going to bring something on diseases because that's in um, that's in section D so every year they always try to bring a question from section D and section E for sure so I think I believe they they always try to, to put in questions from across the different sections of the syllabus but for sure you know something on diseases is going to come so I'm thinking asthma smoking malaria and dengue I haven't seen a question in that a question about that in a while and then types of immunity possibly something to do with vaccines they may even talk about corona you know topic that is trending now so and then finally I'm thinking the section E based question would be on sterilization methods or disinfection methods I haven't seen um, a question like that come in a while and then possibly pit latrine because that's been common over the years I've seen that come a lot and solid waste disposal and possibly landfills or recycling so anything of that nature and then some maybes possibly a genetic cross because that's another popular type of question that often comes so whether it's sex linked um, just a general genetic cross something possibly like that can come and the water cycle I haven't seen a diagram about the water cycle in a while so maybe they may squeeze that in to the section E um, question okay let's go on to look at the biology predictions okay so the first question I'm thinking may possibly be on like classification or eco ecology something related to that so like sampling methods so maybe some kind of, of graph or experiment on soil and then possibly they may squeeze in the nitrogen cycle which I haven't seen come in a while I've seen the carbon cycle come for a couple of years recently 
but I haven't seen any questions really on the nitrogen cycle. So I'm thinking question one may be ecologically based. If not ecologically based, it may be something to do with possibly seed germination, which I actually have as part of the second questions. Um, movement. So something related to the joints and muscle action, the different types of movement, um, C germination. So that you can some connection between movement and C germination. I haven't seen a question like that in a while. So a movement related topic. So the types of movements in plants and animals, and then maybe a diagram of the joint, the different types of joints, labeling the joint possibly muscle action. So movement generally, I believe that that topic might come since I haven't seen it um, in a bit. Thirdly, excretion, kidney and nephron structure, urine formation, osmoregulation. Now I've seen this come on the HSP paper recently, but I haven't seen like a diagram of the nephron or the kidney. I haven't seen a question like this in a while. So there's a possibility that they could bring some kind of excretion, osmoregulation type question. Fourthly, the reproductive system. So either the male or the female, something about meiosis. So they asked about the process of mitosis in the January's paper. So possibly they may bring in something about meiosis if they do bring anything about cell division. And then birth control, and possibly a sex link genetic cross or related to the whole reproduction. Um, so yeah, so I'm thinking that might be the fourth type of question. And then for the fifth question, something about diseases. So maybe type C, different categories of diseases, vectors. So I haven't seen a question on the life cycle of mosquitoes or houseflies in a bit. And immunity or vaccine. So keeping current with, you know, the whole vaccine talk and maybe corona. So something related to immunity as well. And then for the final question, the eye. Once again, I said the eye comes very regularly. It did not come in the January paper. And I don't believe it came on, oh yeah, it came on the last paper, which would have been January 2020 paper. So I believe they can possibly bring an eye question. So dealing with either labeling the eye, accommodation, site defects, and then they may squeeze in something to do with selection, whether it's natural or artificial selection. So that'll be a section C topic along with cell division and the genetic cross. So I haven't really seen a question on um, selection um, possibly speciation as well. So those are my my topics that I think might be coming. And then my maybes. They may have an investigation on food tests. So different food tests, Benedict's test, Burek test, etc. And then something to do with the plants in terms of flowers, um, pollination, the different types of pollination, the whole process of pollination to fertilization. So anything related to that. So yeah, so those are my my thoughts. And as usual, make sure you prepare properly for the exam if you expect to succeed in the exam. And I advise you to check out my study tips for biology as you get prepared for the exam. And I wish you all the best in this year's exam. If you found this video helpful, feel free to subscribe, like, and share. And don't forget to hit that notification bell.